The headmistress at the Waverly Academy for Girls has asked me, begged me actually, to discover who's been leaving mysterious notes for students there and causing the strange accidents that always follow them. So malicious was the last accident, the parents of its victim are threatening to sue the school if the perpetrator isn't identified. Fast. And so, pretending to be a transfer student named Becca Sawyer, I'm going to go undercover at the upstate New York boarding school and hopefully find the culprit. I have to use a fake name instead of my real one because if any of my soon-to-be classmates plug the name Nancy Drew into an online search engine, my cover would be blown in an instant. And to make sure no one sees or hears anything that could give me away, the headmistress has forbidden me to contact her, which means I'm about to be tossed, totally on my own, into a world of bright, privileged, click-conscious teenage girls. This could be my scariest case yet. Let me out! Hey! This isn't funny! Let me out! Let me out! Hey, you're the new person! Uh, Becca something. Becca Sawyer. I'm Corrine, the person who's stuck rooming with you. <laughs> I mean, you're the person who stuck rooming with me. Anyway, welcome to my, your, uh, our, humble dwelling space. Thanks. Sorry to barge in and bug you like this. You look really busy. Busy? That's the understatement of the year. I've got four days to finish a 30-page research paper that has to be fully annotated, utilizing a bibliography that has to include at least six published, no online stuff, published sources. Any normal student would hate having you barge in like this. But then, I'm not all that normal, so you can bug me all you want. Not that you're bugging me. Well, you are technically, but you're not really because I'm so... Never mind. I was told you could help me, you know, get oriented. Oh yeah, you bet. Let's see. First thing you gotta do is read the Waverly Student Guide, which is online. If you don't have a laptop, it doesn't look like you do. That one little bag is all you brought? Uh, all my stuff's being shipped from France, Lyon. It'll be here in a couple of days, but please, go on. Anyway, you can get online by jumping on the computer in the library. Just make sure you read the part in the guide about Waverly's demerit system really well. It's enforced by Paige. Believe me, you do not want to mess with her. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, this floor is special because only seniors who are viable candidates for valedictorian live up here. Whoever's named valedictorian gets a full ride scholarship to the university of her choice, so it's a pretty big deal. Of Course, the only truly viable candidate is me. Oh, and I should probably tell you about the curse. The curse? Some of the kids on this floor have been getting these like threatening notes from someone calling herself the black cat. Well, the first note's a warning, but if you get a second one, something really bad happens to you. And last week, the girl in the room next door, Megan Vargas, she got a second note and that night she ate something at dinner she was allergic to and had such a bad reaction that she had to go home. Somebody's obviously playing a prank, but a lot of kids are starting to get really freaked out. <laughs> Wait a minute. You mean the only girls to get notes from this black cat person are girls who are in the running to be valedictorian? I hadn't really thought of it that way, but yeah, I guess that's right. Maybe somebody's jealous of us smart kids or something, or maybe it's one of us. Maybe someone's trying to scare off her competition. Whatever. It's not going to work on me. Have you ever gotten one of these black cat notes? Yeah, I got one about three days ago. No kidding. May I see it? Sorry. I took one look at it and tore it up. But if you'd like to see the note my ex-roommate got, that one's right here. She had kind of a bad experience got locked in a pitch black closet overnight. See, she was claustrophobic, so when they found her the next morning, she could barely talk. And when I came back from class that afternoon, she just left. No note, no call, no text, nothing. Just gone. When she got this, how did she react? 
She tried to laugh it off, but I think she was scared. She was pretty neurotic. What about the second note? There wasn't a second note. Or at least, if there was, she never said anything about it to me. Where's that cello music coming from? Next door. That's Mel Corbelis. Has she gotten a black cat note? I'm not sure. Her roommate did, though. She's the one who got so sick she had to go home. Well, guess I'd better go start meeting people. Yeah, I guess you'd better. I'm not so bad, right? What do you mean? It's just that... Well, you're about to find out that I'm not exactly the most... <sighs> Never mind. You'll see soon enough. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Someone named Rachel wants me to come to her room. Rachel Hubbard. She's in the room at the end of the hall. Whoa, watch it! Oh, your hair's on fire. No wonder you're in a hurry. My... Hair's on fire? Just kidding. Red hair looks really good on some people. I'm Izzy Romero. I'm Becca Sawyer. I just transferred here. Where are you from? From the States originally, but I came here by way of France. It's a long story. Chouette alors. Let me have your cell phone. My cell phone? Yeah, so I can set you up on the local network. It'll just take a second. Okay. This way, you'll be able to get texted and keep up on all the breaking news. There you go. Look, my room's on the other side of the study hall, but lately I've been spending most of my time in the library. So come talk to me. I'm student body president, which means when it comes to the lay of the land, I got the best map. See ya. It's not locked. You must be Becca Sawyer. Did you see my note? I did if you're Rachel Hubbard. That's me. And boy, am I glad you're here. See, I've got this web design project that's due by the end of the break. Only I've got two papers to write by then, too. So, since you're a transfer and you won't really have anything to do until classes start, I was hoping you could help me. But I don't know anything about web design. You don't have to. I just need you to do grunt work, take pictures and upload them mostly. The pages I'm designing will be part of the Waverly School website. You sure that's not cheating? Positive. It's a design class, not a photography class. What the pictures are of and where they appear on the page are all that's important, and that'll be totally up to me. I know this is kind of weird, but... I'm Rachel Hubbard. I'm from Pittsburgh. I'm here on a scholarship. I blew a recent AP chem test, which means I probably won't be valedictorian unless everybody else totally messes up. I love dogs. I hate cauliflower. My favorite subject's math. And I am desperate. Well, I guess I could help you. Sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what you need to do first is take a picture of all the valedictorian candidates. Here are their names. You have a camera cell phone, right? Of course. Great. After you've taken everybody's picture, get on the computer in the library and upload them according to the instructions on that sheet. I'll check the pictures once they're up. If I want you to take any of them over, I'll leave a note for you on the page. 
When you're done, report back to me, all right? I may need you to do something else. In the meantime, I'm about to be late for a meeting with my advisor, so if you could get started, that would be great. I really appreciate this, Becca. See you later, okay? Did that? Haven't done that. That's done. Yeah? Who are you? Uh, I'm Becca Sawyer. I just moved into the room next door. Oh, yeah, you're the transfer, the one who got kicked out of some school in France? What? No, I didn't. Waverly's primary source of all wisdom and truth has been suggesting otherwise. Hey, look, I don't really care, but you got to admit it's kind of weird to be changing schools in the middle of your senior year, and the fewer gory details you provide as to why, the more kids are going to talk. Or should I say, text? So, I'm the source of rumors already? Welcome to Waverly. Where's your roommate? She's the one who was sent home because of an allergic reaction to something she ate after being cursed by the black cat. Tell me more about this black cat. The black cat is just someone playing an idiotic prank. End of story. Of course, it's not the end of the story for my roommate Megan, who wound up having to go home sick with an allergic reaction that almost killed her. But it's still a stupid prank. Did Megan have any idea who left her those notes? Look, enough about the black cat. The other girls can buy into that garbage all they want, but the pea brain that's behind this, I refuse to give her the satisfaction. So if you have questions for Megan, I think you should call her yourself. 845-555-1849. How well do you know the girl I'm rooming with, Corrine? Probably better than anybody. She doesn't have a lot of friends, but she's incredibly smart. Plus, she's a social outcast, too. So we get along pretty well. What makes you say she's a social outcast? She's so desperate for people to like her, she gets on everyone's nerves. Me? I don't much care if people like me or not. But Corrine? She cares a lot. And it shows. You play that cello pretty well. Thank you. I taught myself to play when I was 10. Does Waverly have an orchestra? Yeah, but as you may have guessed, I'm not much of a joiner. I need to take a close-up of you for a page on the school website I'm helping put up. The school wants my picture on its website? Groovy. Blast away. I need a photo of your roommate Megan for the school website. Would you happen to have one? Sure don't. But Leela Yadav might. She and Megan have been palling around lately. Check the rec room downstairs. I'll quit bugging you. Sounds good. Read much, followed by more. Wonder why it was spelled with two O's instead of one. Is this sampler as old as it looks? It's old, that's for sure. My great, great, great grandmother made it. She was in the first class of students to graduate from here. Everybody in my family who attends Waverly has to hang that thing in her room. It's tradition. Did your mother graduate from here? And her mother and her mother's mother ad infinitum. I come from a long line of Waverly grads. I'm what you call a legacy. 
I was admitted automatically. Hi. Hey, how come I couldn't find anything about you online, like on your page? Is that a big deal? Well, yeah. I mean, anyone under the age of like 30 who doesn't have something up on your page either A, has been living on Mars, or B, is seriously weird. And since it doesn't look like either of those applies to you, what gives? I took my page down because, for personal reasons. Well, do you have a boyfriend? Yeah. Well, who is he? Where does he live? Come on, you can tell me stuff. I'm your roommate. I'm sorry, but I, I'd rather not talk about him right now, okay? Yeah, okay, whatever. So what do you want to talk about? I met Mel. She's very... different. Yeah, I think that's why we're friends. She did say I was her friend, right? Oh, sorry, that was dumb. <laughs> there we go, sounding all insecure and loserish again. Does Mel have any other friends? Mel told me once that when she was little, she used to be really good friends with Waverly's current superstar athlete, Leela Yadif, which is hard to believe because Mel and Leela totally ignore each other now. Something must have happened, but I can't figure out what. Mel says they just gradually drifted apart, but like everyone else around here, sometimes Mel lies. I ran into someone in the hall when I left here. Her name was... Izzy? That would be Isabella Romero, Izzy for short. Queen Izzy. I can just see her acting all warm and fuzzy while she sizes you up, trying to decide if the new girl is worthy of becoming one of her subjects. Sounds like you don't like her. That girl never, ever passes up a chance to do or say something cruel to me. She just does it because she's jealous, of course, but it's still... Well, it's still annoying. Rachel enlisted me to help her get her web project done. Better you than me. You don't like her? Let's just say she's not one of my favorite people. She's kind of flaky. Like last month, she flunked a test that took her out of the running for valedictorian, Technically, she shouldn't even be on this floor anymore. I need to take a close-up of you for a web page Rachel's working on. That okay? <sighs> Whip out your camera and let's get it over with. Cheese! Where can I find Leela Yadav? I need to take her picture. Leela is Izzy's roommate. She's probably in the rec room. I've bugged you enough. See ya! Enjoy! You must be the girl who came all the way from France with just the clothes on her back? Becca something? Becca Sawyer. I'm Leela Yadav. Welcome to Waverly. How come you're not working on a paper or studying like everybody else? I'm working on two papers, actually. But they're both under control, so I'm taking a break. Playing the games in here keeps my reflexes sharp. People think I'm just saying that, but it's true. In fact, let's play air hockey. Come on! By helping me stay in shape, you'll be helping out your new school. You want to get off on the right foot here, don't ya? Yeah, but I, I don't have time right now. I told Rachel Hubbard I'd help her with her web project. That's too bad. Too bad I can't play, or too bad I'm helping Rachel? Both, but mostly too bad you're being subjected to Rachel on your very first day. Why do you say that? She's got this bizarre schizoid thing going. She'll say something one day, then deny it the next, or she'll do something, then claim she didn't. She's actually kind of scary. You'll see. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if she's the black cat. You heard about the black cat, right? Oh yeah, I heard. 
See, Rachel flunked a test a couple weeks ago, which means she can't be valedictorian. So maybe, in some twisted way, she thinks we're to blame and she's using this black cat stuff to freak us all out. Not that it's working. On me, at least. I've won state championships in both soccer and basketball. No way am I going to let a couple of stupid notes get to me. Do you ever hang out with my roommate, Corrine? Not if I can help it. Who does hang out with her? Mel Corbelis and her are friends. No big surprise. After all, weirdos of a feather flock together. Because you're in the running for valedictorian, I need to get a close-up of you for the school website, if that's okay. No problem. Fire when ready. I was told I could maybe get a picture of Megan Vargas from you? Yeah, I've got a picture of her you could use. And if you beat me at a game of air hockey, I'll go get it for you. Bring it on. Excellent. Okay, first pick your mallet. Then, after the game starts, hit the puck with your mallet and try to get it into the goal at my end. And when I hit the puck towards your goal, use your mallet to block it, if you can. You can only use your mallet on your half of the table. First person to score seven goals wins. Got it? Got it. Then let's get it on. I like this game. Oh yeah, uh-huh. Yes. I like this game. She shoots, she scores! Point for me. I like this game. I won, naturally. Want to play again? Sure. I like this game. Oh yeah, uh-huh. Goal! I got a point. Yes.
I won, naturally. Want to play again? Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. The headmistress at the Waverly Academy for Girls has asked me, begged me actually, to discover who's been leaving mysterious notes for students there and causing the strange accidents that always follow them. So malicious was the last accident, the parents of its victim are threatening to sue the school if the perpetrator isn't identified. Fast. And so, pretending to be a transfer student named Becca Sawyer, I'm going to go undercover at the upstate New York boarding school and hopefully find the culprit. I have to use a fake name instead of my real one because if any of my soon-to-be classmates plug the name Nancy Drew into an online search engine, my cover would be blown in an instant. And to make sure no one sees or hears anything that could give me away, the headmistress has forbidden me to contact her, which means I'm about to be tossed, totally on my own, into a world of bright, privileged, click-conscious teenage girls. This could be my scariest case yet. Let me out! Hey! This isn't funny! Let me out! Let me out! Hey, you're the new person! Uh, Becca something. Becca Sawyer. I'm Corrine, the person who's stuck rooming with you. <laughs> I mean, you're the person who's stuck rooming with me. Anyway, welcome to my, your, uh, our, humble dwelling space. Thanks. Sorry to barge in and bug you like this. You look really busy. Busy? That's the understatement of the year. I've got four days to finish a 30-page research paper that has to be fully annotated, utilizing a bibliography that has to include at least six published, no online stuff, published sources. Any normal student would hate having you barge in like this. But then, I'm not all that normal, so you can bug me all you want. Not that you're bugging me. Well, you are, technically, but you're not really, because I'm so... Never mind. I was told you could help me, you know, get oriented. Oh, yeah, you bet. Let's see. First thing you gotta do is read the Waverly Student Guide, which is online. If you don't have a laptop, it doesn't look like you do. That one little bag is all you brought? Uh, all my stuff's being shipped from France, Lyon. It'll be here in a couple of days, but please, go on. Anyway, you can get online by jumping on the computer in the library. Just make sure you read the part in the guide about Waverly's demerit system really well. It's enforced by Paige. Believe me, you do not want to mess with her. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, this floor is special because only seniors who are viable candidates for valedictorian live up here. Whoever's named valedictorian gets a full-ride scholarship to the university of her choice, so it's a pretty big deal. Of course, the only truly viable candidate is me. Oh, and I should probably tell you about the curse. The curse? Some of the kids on this floor have been getting these, like, threatening notes from someone calling herself the Black Cat. Well, the first note's a warning, but if you get a second one, something really bad happens to you. And last week, the girl in the room next door, Megan Vargas, she got a second note and that night she ate something at dinner she was allergic to and had such a bad reaction that she had to go home. Somebody's obviously playing a prank, but a lot of kids are starting to get really freaked out. <laughs> Wait a minute. You mean the only girls to get notes from this black cat person are girls who are in the running to be valedictorian? I hadn't really thought of it that way, but yeah, I guess that's right. Maybe somebody's jealous of us smart kids or something, or maybe it's one of us. Maybe someone's trying to scare off her competition. Whatever. It's not going to work on me. Have you ever gotten one of these black cat notes? Yeah, I got one about three days ago. No kidding. May I see it? Sorry. I took one look at it and tore it up. But if you'd like to see the note my ex-roommate got, that one's right here. She had kind of a bad experience. Got locked in a pitch black closet overnight. See, she was claustrophobic, so when they found her the next morning, she could barely talk. And when I came back from class that afternoon, she just left. No note, no call, no text, nothing. Just gone. When she got this, how did she react? 
She tried to laugh it off, but I think she was scared. She was pretty neurotic. What about the second note? There wasn't a second note. Or at least, if there was, she never said anything about it to me. Where's that cello music coming from? Next door. That's Mel Corbelis. Has she gotten a black cat note? I'm not sure. Her roommate did, though. She's the one who got so sick she had to go home. Well, guess I'd better go start meeting people. Yeah, I guess you'd better. I'm not so bad, right? What do you mean? It's just that, well, you're about to find out that I'm not exactly the most... <sighs> Never mind. You'll see soon enough. Paige will see you, I guarantee it. I see you, Becca. And I just gave you three demerits. Now get down from there and go to your room. Someone named Rachel wants me to come to her room. Rachel Hubbard. She's in the room at the end of the hall. Whoa, watch it! Oh, your hair's on fire! No wonder you're in a hurry! My hair's on fire? Just kidding. Red hair looks really good on some people. I'm Izzy Romero. I'm Becca Sawyer. I just transferred here. Where are you from? From the States originally, but I came here by way of France. It's a long story. Chouette alors. Let me have your cell phone. My cell phone? Yeah, so I can set you up on the local network. It'll just take a second. Okay. This way you'll be able to get texted and keep up on all the breaking news. There you go. Look, my room's on the other side of the study hall, but lately I've been spending most of my time in the library. So come talk to me. I'm student body president, which means when it comes to the lay of the land, I got the best map. See ya. How about that? This door's not locked. You can come in. You must be Becca Sawyer. Did you see my note? I did if you're Rachel Hubbard. That's me. And boy, am I glad you're here. See, I've got this web design project that's due by the end of the break. Only I've got two papers to write by then, too. So, since you're a transfer and you won't really have anything to do until classes start, I was hoping you could help me. But I don't know anything about web design. You don't have to. I just need you to do grunt work, take pictures and upload them mostly. The pages I'm designing will be part of the Waverly School website. You sure that's not cheating? Positive. It's a design class, not a photography class. What the pictures are of and where they appear on the page are all that's important, and that'll be totally up to me. I know this is kind of weird, but... I'm Rachel Hubbard. I'm from Pittsburgh. I'm here on a scholarship. I blew a recent AP chem test, which means I probably won't be valedictorian unless everybody else totally messes up. I love dogs, I hate cauliflower, my favorite subject's math, and I am desperate. Well, I guess I could help you, sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what you need to do first is take a picture of all the valedictorian candidates. Here are their names. You have a camera cell phone, right? Of Course. Great. After you've taken everybody's picture, get on the computer in the library and upload them according to the instructions on that sheet. I'll check the pictures once they're up. If I want you to take any of them over, I'll leave a note for you on the page. When you're done, report back to me, all right?
I may need you to do something else. In the meantime, I'm about to be late for a meeting with my advisor, so if you could get started, that would be great. I really appreciate this, Becca. See you later, okay? Locked. Izzy must be somewhere else. I'm here. Who are you? Uh, I'm Becca Sawyer. How long have you been playing the cello? I taught myself to play when I was ten. You seem normal enough. How come you got expelled from that school in France? How did you know? The primary source of all wisdom and truth around here has been all a buzz. So I'm the source of rumors already. Welcome to Waverly. Have you gotten a message from the black cat yet? The black cat is just someone playing an idiotic prank. End of story. Of course, it's not the end of the story for my roommate Megan who wound up having to go home sick with an allergic reaction that almost killed her. But it's still a stupid prank. Did Megan have any idea who left her those notes? Look, enough about the black cat. The other girls can buy into that garbage all they want, but the pea brain that's behind this, I refuse to give her the satisfaction. So if you have questions for Megan, I think you should call her yourself. 845-555-1849. How well do you know Rachel? Not well. We don't hang out. With whom does she hang out? That is something you'll have to ask her. I just know I don't. We have nothing in common. Plus, there's something about her that's a little... off. What do you mean by off? She's just a little strange, and not in a genius sort of way either. In fact, when it comes to being valedictorian, it's a mystery how she ever made it this far. How well do you know the girl I'm rooming with, Corrine? Probably better than anybody. She doesn't have a lot of friends, but she's incredibly smart. Plus, she's a social outcast too, so we get along pretty well. What makes you say she's a social outcast? She's so desperate for people to like her, she gets on everyone's nerves. Me? I don't much care if people like me or not, but Corrine? She cares a lot. And it shows. I need to take a close-up of you for a page on the school website I'm helping put up. The school wants my picture on its website? Groovy. Blast away. Where can I find Leela Yadav? I need to take her picture. Leela Yadav is Izzy Romero's roommate. The room's on the other side of the study area. I'll quit bugging you. Door's always open. Read much followed by more. Wonder why it was spelled with two O's instead of one. Is this sampler as old as it looks? It's old, that's for sure. My great, great, great grandmother made it. She was in the first class of students to graduate from here. Everybody in my family who attends Waverly has to hang that thing in her room. It's tradition. Did your mother graduate from here? And her mother and her mother's mother ad infinitum. I come from a long line of Waverly grads. I'm what you call a legacy. I was admitted automatically. Becca the new girl, what's going on? I better get going. Doors always open. Hi. Hey, how come I couldn't find anything about you online, like on your page? Is that a big deal? Well, yeah. I mean, anyone under the age of like 30 who doesn't have something up on your page either A, has been living on Mars, or B, is seriously weird. And since it doesn't look like either of those applies to you, what gives? I took my page down because... for personal reasons. Well, do you have a boyfriend? Yeah. 
Well, who is he? Where does he live? Come on, you can tell me stuff. I'm your roommate. I'm sorry, but I... I'd rather not talk about him right now, okay? Yeah, okay, whatever. So what do you want to talk about? Rachel enlisted me to help her get her web project done. Better you than me. In fact, I need to take your picture for it. <sighs> Whip out your camera and let's get it over with. Cheese! I met Mel. She's very... different. Yeah, I think that's why we're friends. She did say I was her friend, right? Oh, sorry, that was dumb. There we go, sounding all insecure and loserish again. Are you a Waverly Legacy like Mel is? As if. I earned my way into this place. I was accepted because I was the most deserving applicant, like, ever. Those are my words, not the school's, of course, but it's still true. I ran into someone in the hall when I left here. Her name was... Izzy? That would be Isabella Romero. Izzy for short. Queen Izzy. I can just see her acting all warm and fuzzy while she sizes you up, trying to decide if the new girl is worthy of becoming one of her subjects. She was actually kind of helpful. Really? Well, congratulations. You must have made the grade. I sure never have. That girl never, ever passes up a chance to do or say something cruel to me. She just does it because she's jealous, of course, but it's still... Well, it's still annoying. I've bugged you enough. See ya. Suit yourself. I'm being gossiped about already? That sure didn't take long. Still have to do that. Haven't done that. Still have to do that. Still have to do that. Bonjour. Unfortunately, that and Chouette de Laura are all the French I know. Hey, my condolences on your roommate assignment. You know, it might not be too late to get it changed. Do you have a roommate? My roommate's Lila Yadev, athletic superstar and savior of Waverly's athletic program. We actually get along fine. Probably because we're pretty much equals. Everyone knows who she is, and everyone knows who I am. A word to the wise. Avoid hanging out with your roommate as much as possible. Nobody likes Corrine. She must have some friends. Nope. Nobody who's worth being friends with, anyway. But look, don't worry. Everyone knows rooming with Corrine wasn't your idea. As long as you don't hang out with her, nobody's going to hold it against you. Sounds like who you hang out with around here is pretty important. Hey, this is the real world. It's important no matter where you are. Okay if I take a close-up of you? Rachel needs it for the school website. Rachel roped you into helping her, huh? Lucky you. Your first day you get to spend it with every loser in our class. Ready for my close-up, darling. I get the impression Rachel's not one of your favorite people. She's no one's favorite people. Even Corrine doesn't like her. She doesn't have one single friend? Nope. She has no business being here, either socially or academically, and she knows it. She makes no effort to fit in because she knows she never will. <laughs> Gotta give her that much. Have you gotten any notes from the black cat? Everyone on the Valcan floor has. The valedictorian candidate floor. Our floor. Has anything like this ever happened before? Not as far as I know. Although... 
Supposedly, there was a teacher here once, a long time ago, that none of the students liked. They were always playing tricks on her, scaring her and stuff, until one day one of their pranks gave her a heart attack and she died. Her black cat went running off into the woods during the funeral and never came back. But for years after that, people would spot it lurking in the shadows, and whenever they did, something bad would happen. They said it was the teacher, Miss Hallowell, coming back as her cat to get revenge. Somebody around here is obviously trying to get some mileage out of a silly ghost story. One the headmistress is trying desperately to squelch, by the way. So remember, you didn't hear it from me. Any idea who the black cat is? It's Mel. See, she's a little psycho. And black cats, strange mishaps, it all fits in with that inane goth thing she's got going. I mean, who else could it be? I'll catch you later. See ya. You must be the girl who came all the way from France with just the clothes on her back? Becca something? Becca Sawyer. I'm Leela Yadav. Welcome to Waverly. What happened to your wrist? I took a really freak fall and sprained it. I'm supposed to rest it for at least a week. That's why I'm in here instead of the gym shooting baskets. Playing the games in here keeps my reflexes sharp. People think I'm just saying that, but it's true. In fact, let's play air hockey. Come on, by helping me stay in shape, you'll be helping out your new school. You want to get off on the right foot here, don't ya? Yeah, but I, I don't have time right now. I told Rachel Hubbard I'd help her with her web project. That's too bad. Too bad I can't play, or too bad I'm helping Rachel? Both, but mostly too bad you're being subjected to Rachel on your very first day. Why do you say that? She's got this bizarre schizoid thing going. She'll say something one day, then deny it the next, or she'll do something, then claim she didn't. She's actually kind of scary. You'll see. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if she's the black cat. You heard about the black cat, right? Oh yeah, I heard. See, Rachel flunked a test a couple weeks ago, which means she can't be valedictorian. So maybe, in some twisted way, she thinks we're to blame and she's using this black cat stuff to freak us all out. Not that it's working. On me, at least. I've won state championships in both soccer and basketball. No way am I gonna let a couple of stupid notes get to me. Because you're in the running for valedictorian, I need to get a close-up of you for the school website, if that's okay. No problem. Fire when ready. Are you and Izzy pretty good friends? We get along. We're roommates mostly because we're both valedictorian candidates and that's just the way the room assignments worked out. So you don't know her that well? Sure I do. I mean, with Izzy, what you see is what you get. She's smart, she's pretty, she's popular, she's always got a boyfriend. That's Izzy. What more is there to know? Do you ever hang out with my roommate, Corrine? Not if I can help it. Who does hang out with her? Mel Corbelis and her are friends. No big surprise. After all, weirdos of a feather flock together. I've bugged you enough for now. That's all right. I'm kind of waiting for my boyfriend to call. He goes to Oxboro. That's the boys' school just down the road. Talking to you helped kill the time. I'll see ya. I'm here. What's the word? Do you hang out with Izzy much? I don't hang out with her at all. I can't stand her. She's so fake and vacuous. It's like talking to a mannequin. How can she be vacuous and be a valedictorian candidate? 
You tell me, and we'll both know. I need a photo of your roommate, Megan, for the school website. Would you happen to have one? Sure don't. But Leela Yadav might. She and Megan have been palling around lately. Check the rec room downstairs. Are you friends with Leela? No, although I used to be. Of course, that was in grade school, before she got caught up in sports. Now all she thinks about is competing and winning and school spirit. Stuff I just find pathetic. Do most kids like her? I'm not a fan, but everyone else? You bet. Do you think she's smart? Extremely, which to me makes her descent into jockdom even sadder. Who do you think the black cat is? I don't do conversations on that subject, remember? Especially when it's so obvious that it's Izzy. Does anyone else think it's Izzy? Megan, my missing in action roommate, she thinks it's Izzy too. Of course, that's because she hates Izzy for stealing her boyfriend. My reasoning is more logical. Izzy doesn't deserve to be valedictorian and she knows it. She also knows she'll never get into an Ivy League school unless she's valedictorian. So, she has to eliminate the competition. I'll quit bugging you. Door's always open. Hey, what's going on? I was told I could maybe get a picture of Megan Vargas from you. Yeah, I've got a picture of her you could use. And if you beat me at a game of air hockey, I'll go get it for you. Bring it on. Yes. Okay, first pick your mallet. Then, after the game starts, hit the puck with your mallet and try to get it into the goal at my end. And when I hit the puck towards your goal, use your mallet to block it, if you can. You can only use your mallet on your half of the table. First person to score seven goals wins. Got it? Got it. Then let's get it on. I like this game. I got a point! Point for me!
point for me. Nuts, you beat me. Guess I owe you Megan's picture. Next time I go upstairs, I'll get it for you. Wanna play again? No thanks. Need anything else? I better get going. Okie dokie. It's not locked. Hi. Hi. I'm Becca Sawyer, remember? Sorry, I totally blanked on your name. You get all the pictures uploaded? Not yet. For one thing, I need to take a picture of you. Oh, right. Let's do it. Fab, listen, be sure to let me know when you get all the pictures uploaded, okay? I can't remember. Did I tell you not to bother with Danielle Hayes' picture? No, but her name's been scratched off, so that's what I figured. Sorry, my mind is going all this paper writing, which I kind of need to get back to. Well, good luck with your papers. See ya. Oh, one more question. Who do you think the black cat is? I haven't gotten any notes, so I don't know and I don't really care. See ya. Still have to do that. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. Uh-oh. Leela's not gonna like that. It's only fair to warn you, I'm not in a very good mood right now. Because of Izzy and your boyfriend? Of course because of Izzy and my boyfriend. How could she do it? Did she think I wouldn't mind if she started dating Jacob? Did she think I wouldn't find out? My gosh, it's all over school. Maybe it's more Jacob's fault than hers. Jacob's just like any other guy, and let's face it, guys are basically sheep. The minute somebody says, hey, the grass is greener over here, Boom, they're gone. I just never figured she'd actually make a move on him while he was still dating me. I mean, who does that to their own roommate? Have you confronted her yet? No. And you know what? I don't think I will. I'm just gonna act like nothing's wrong. If she's got the guts to bring up the subject, fine. But I'm not gonna say a word. I'm gonna let her wonder just how and when I'm going to get back at her. Because I will definitely get back at her. In the meantime, I'm just gonna shake it off and get back in the game. What's up, girl? Did you get that picture of Megan for me? I've got it right here. But the only way you're going to get it from me is by beating me at Scram. What do you say? Same as before. Bring it on. Excellent. Okay, each game has two rounds. You play one round as the blocker and the other round as the scorer, and you take turns throwing the darts. First, the blocker throws three darts, then the scorer throws three darts, and so on. Now, the object of the game is for the blocker to end the round by landing a dart in any section of all 20 numbers, while the object of the game for the scorer is, naturally, to accumulate as many points as possible before the round ends. I assume that hitting the bullseye is worth 50 points and hitting the ring outside it is worth 25? That's right. Once all the numbers are blocked, the rolls are reversed and you play another round. After two rounds, whoever has accumulated the most points wins. Just like in regular darts, the harder the section of any number is to hit, the more points you get. So, you ready? I'm ready. Game on! So, in this round, you're the blocker, and you're going to try to hit the high numbers so they get crossed off the score list. I think I got it. Okay, so now it's my turn to throw, and I get to score. Guess I better go for the high numbers before you take them out. Missed. 
That works! Yes! That works! Oh yeah! Yes! Bingo! That works! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Bingo! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I did it! I did it! Nailed it! That works! I did it! That works! Gosh, I'm good! Gosh, I'm good! I did it! Nuts! Missed! Oh yeah! I did it! Bingo! I'm blocker this round. Bingo! I did it! Yes! Bingo! All right! Nailed it! All right! I did it! All right! Nailed it! Yes! Gosh, I'm good! All right! I did it! Yes! Gosh, I'm good! All right! I did it! Oh yeah! Yes! That works! Bingo! Gosh, I'm good! Darn it! That you works! Win. Kudos! Here's the photo of Megan you wanted. Great! Looks like I'll have to take a picture of a picture. All done. You can keep it. Thanks. Want to play again? No, thanks. Need anything else? That's it for now. Hit him hard. How's it going? What's this about your stealing Leela's boyfriend? The guy asked me to Oxbro's holiday bash and I said yes. Big whoop. But he was dating Leela. It 
It's a free country. He can date whomever he wants. Look, I don't steal boyfriends, okay? I don't have to. Guys are just naturally attracted to me. I know how conceited that sounds, but it's the truth. Leela had her chance with this guy. She couldn't cut it, so now he's into me. She's just gonna have to deal with it. Apparently, I need to get a password from you before I can use the school's computer. That's right. Unfortunately, I need to finish this DNA model before I can give it to you. Too bad, huh? Want me to help you? Sure, you bet. Excellent idea. Okay, here's what you need to do. You just have to make sure adenine is always paired with thymine and cytosine is always paired with guanine. And make sure each pair is connected to a sugar on the alternating sugar phosphate side. Just jump in. You'll figure it out. When you're done, bring it back. And if you get it right, I'll tell you the password. Sounds good. What else is going on? I'll catch you later. See ya. Finished with that DNA model? You tell me. Awesome. Okay, your password is WAC35NE136. WAC35NE136. Got it. Thanks. What else is going on? What do you think your chances are for making valedictorian? Chance has nothing to do with it. I deserve to be valedictorian, therefore I'm going to be valedictorian. None of the other girls deserve it? Absolutely not. Look, it's not just a matter of getting the highest grades. The faculty also looks at extracurricular activities, leadership, community service, school spirit, things I totally excel at. I'm going to be valedictorian, and then I'm going to Harvard. I've harassed you enough. Pop in any time!
I'm in charge of the snack shop? This should be interesting. I don't even know where it is. That's done. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. That's done. Check. Check. Did that. Still have to do that. Looks like I need a key. How's it going? The Missing Book of Stories by Edgar Allan Poe. Do you by any chance know where it is? Uh, no. No offense, but some of the questions you ask are kind of strange. I'll catch you later. Adios. Sounds like the black cat stalking Izzy. Looks like Mel got another note. Nancy, 
Hi, you at the school? I sure am. So how's it going? Great. The girls I met so far are bright and interesting and seem to like me. Of course they like you. I hope so, because I can tell already that where you fit in socially around here is huge. They got a pecking order going, huh? And it is brutal. Like junior high on steroids. Just be yourself and you'll do fine. Be myself? Ned, I'm a detective. I'm pretty much here to spy on people. If they get wind of that... Like I said, just lie through your teeth and you'll do fine. What about the case? Any luck tracking down the source of those mysterious notes? They're being sent by someone who signs them as the Black Cat, complete with a paw print and scratch marks. And only valedictorian candidates have been getting them. Think someone there has a grudge against brainy kids? Or one of the brainy kids is trying to get rid of her competition. Being valedictorian is that big a deal? It's a very big deal. The valedictorian gets a college scholarship. Full ride, school of her choice. But how smart can these kids be if they're intimidated by a bunch of silly notes? It's midterm study break. The kids who chose to stay at the school are cramming for tests and madly writing papers. The notes may be silly, but they're still distracting. And some of the accidents that have followed them have been pretty malicious. Malicious, huh? You're not posing as a valedictorian, are you? No, I'm not. Good. Although I am living on the same floor as they are. You just had to throw that in, didn't you? Sorry. So what is your plan? I'm going to search every inch of this place and question everybody I see until something or someone leads me to the black cat. And in the process, you're going to be very, very careful. Right. Right. I've met all the valedictorian candidates. Cool. Tell me about them. Corrine, the girl I'm rooming with, she's not exactly Miss Popularity. What makes you say that? So far, I've only met one girl who even halfway likes her. That's not good. At this school? It's a disaster. Keep going. Who else? Believe it or not, there's a goth living in the room next to mine. A goth? As in weird hair and disturbing body piercings? At an exclusive East Coast all-girl boarding school? She's a legacy, meaning the women in her family have been attending Waverly for generations. If you're a legacy, you're automatically accepted. You're not automatically liked, however. She doesn't have a lot of friends? Doesn't seem to. Is she into black cats? Don't know that yet. Maybe I'm a sucker for obvious suspects, but it sounds to me like you should find out. Keep going. Who else? Izzy Romero is a valedictorian candidate and student body president. Is she nice? She is to me, so far. But that's probably because I'm still new to the pecking order. She's at the front of it? Oh, yeah. She rules the roost around here, that's for sure. But she's not without enemies. Roost rulers seldom are. Especially when they steal their classmate's boyfriend. Now that's just asking for trouble. Keep going. Who else? Lila Yadev is Waverly's star athlete, and man, is she competitive. Spends most of her time in the rec room trying to get people to play games with her. She's a valedictorian? Yep. Shouldn't she be studying like everyone else? Says she's got everything under control, academically at least. Socially, her roommate Izzy just stole her boyfriend. Yikes. So what's she going to do about it? Right now, nothing. She's going to let Izzy stew for a while and worry about what she's going to do about it person could be in for it big time. Keep going. Who else? This girl named Rachel asked me to help her with a school project. How'd you get out of that? I didn't. I told her I'd help her. And actually, it's a good thing. Gives me an excuse to go poking around, talking to people. So what's this Rachel person like? Well, no one around here seems to like her very much. How come? Bad breath? B.O.? Poor taste in shoes? She's just strange somehow. Kind of absent-minded. She scares some kids, and she seems to keep to herself. The quiet loner type, huh? Better keep an eye on her. I'd better go before someone overhears me. Stay out of trouble. I'll try, but you know me. Bye. Hi, this is Bess. I'm a little busy right now, but leave your name and number, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, okay?
this is Megan. Hi, my name is Becca Sawyer. I'm a new student at Waverly, and I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions, if that's okay. I mean, I know you've been sick. No, no, go ahead. I'm still kind of weak, but talking on the phone's not going to kill me. What exactly happened to you, anyway? I was eating dinner at school three nights ago when all of a sudden I couldn't breathe. And when I tried to stand up, I got so dizzy I fell right over. So they rushed me to the hospital, and by the time I got there, I was turning blue, and my blood pressure was down to like 40 over 20 or something. Whoa. I'd gone in anaphylactic shock. But then they pumped me full of epinephrine, so by morning I was all stable and stuff. My parents were real upset. They dragged me home with them, and they still haven't said when they're going to let me go back. I even heard them talking about suing the school. Anyway, now I'm real upset. I really miss Waverly, for the most part. What do you mean? Is there something about it you don't miss? About ten days ago, someone slipped a note under my door. All it had on it were the words, The black cat wants you to start packing, and a paw print with some scratch marks. Weird. Then, about a week later, I got another note. All it said was, Time's up. I went to dinner the next night, and... Wound up in the hospital. You think whoever sent you that note tampered with your food and deliberately triggered that allergic reaction? I don't know. Maybe it's just a coincidence. I've been to the emergency room on account of my stupid allergies so many times, it's ridiculous. And even if someone did put something in my food, I'm still here. I mean, I always recover. It's not like they were trying to kill me or anything. The thing that triggered your reaction, do you have any idea what it was or how it got in your food? I'm allergic to tree nuts. Almonds, walnuts, cashews. My mom is always telling me to pay more attention to what I'm eating, but I'm really bad at that. Did many kids at Waverly know about your allergies before this last episode? Everybody knew. School policy. That way kids wouldn't give me anything with nuts in it. At least, that was the plan. If you had to guess, who would you say the black cat is? Izzy Romero. Why her? Because she's the sneakiest, most spiteful person I've ever known. You've probably met her by now, and I know she doesn't seem that way, but you're new. Just wait. Could you email me your picture? I need it for the school's website. Sorry, the camera on my cell phone died on me, and my parents don't have a scanner here. But I think Leela has a decent picture of me. Go ask her. Leela Yadav, Izzy Romero's roommate. It's been great talking to you. Catch you later. Haven't done that. That's done. Can't check that off yet. Check. That's done. Did that. Still have to do that. Can't check that off yet. Okay, everybody, snack shop's open.
You know, I hate to admit it, but I really like calculus. No, you don't. No, I do. I love going to that class. Everybody does. Mr. Harris is like the best looking teacher Come in the get your whole order. universe. It's supposed to snow pretty soon. Blizzard type snow. Order up! Come get your order! Food's ready! There, all done. Whoa, wonder what this is to. Still have to do that. 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 Haven't done that. How about that? This door's not locked. What? Hey, you got everyone's picture uploaded. Sure did. Fab. Now I need you to lay out the web page. Just get back on the computer, log in, and click on the Meet the Candidates link again. It'll take you to a description of exactly where I want everything to go. No problem. I'll check the page when you're done to make sure everything's kosher. If anything's in the wrong place, I'll leave you a message describing what needs to be fixed. And once the layout is perfect, Report back to me, because I'll probably have something else for you to do. I knew you were going to say that. In case I forgot to say it before, I'm really grateful for your help. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Don't worry about it. It'll be nice just having you as a friend. Right. I can't talk now. Maybe later, okay? I can't talk now. Locked. Izzy must be somewhere else. Check. It's open. Greetings once again. I called Megan Vargas. Yeah, how is she? Not great. She really misses this place. More likely, she's concerned about falling behind in her schoolwork and not making valedictorian. You two are roommates, yet you don't seem to be friends. Why is that? We're just not, that's all. I'd better get going. Sounds good. What's up, roomie? I met Leela. She was in the rec room. She's usually in the gym, either bouncing, kicking, hitting, or throwing some kind of ball. You name a sport, she's great at it. And competitive? That girl loves to win, and almost always does. When did she hurt her wrist? She started wrapping her wrist about a week ago, but is it actually hurt? Debatable. Could she be the black cat? 
Well, she's here on a scholarship, so it's real hard for me to believe she's smart enough to one, secretly be the black cat, and two, divert suspicion by faking an injury and making herself look like a victim of the black cat. But I have to admit, it is possible. Any idea where that book that's missing from the library is? Why? Are you an Edgar Allan Poe fan? Actually, yeah, I am. You and me both. Unfortunately, I don't have a clue who has it. Any idea why it would be missing? Somebody must have wanted that book and not wanted anyone to know they wanted it. That's all I can figure. Did it go missing before or after notes from the black cat started showing up? Before. Right before, in fact. I see what you're getting at. It was called the black cat, wasn't it? That's kind of freaky. Do you know where I can get the key that opens the special collections cabinet in the library? You can get it from me. How bad do you want it? Uh, kind of bad. There's a book in the collection I'd really like to look at. Okay, here's the deal. I'll give you the key to the cabinet if you can finish these orthographic views for me. How do I do that? Just figure out which views go with which object. Each object has a front, top, and side view. Those are examples in case you need them. I can do that. Bring them back when you're done. Anything else? I'd better get going. Bye. Enjoy. You finished those ortho views for me? There you go. Looks great. Thanks. Here's the key to the cabinet. Whatever books you take out, be sure to put them back when you're done. They're too old and fragile to carry around. I will. And leave the key in the lock. I'll grab it later. Anything else? I'd better get going. Bye. Enjoy. What are you doing? I'm telling.
How's it going? Is it true you just got a second note from the black cat? No, I'm pretty sure the note I got was from Leela. It was a lame attempt to get even with me for stealing her stupid boyfriend. May I see it? Sorry, I did the same thing to it that I did to the first note. Burned it. I need to get going. Adios. Hey, what's going on? Is it true you're here on a scholarship? That's right. Athletic. Full ride. Although I have to maintain a pretty high grade point average in order to keep it. Luckily for me, that's not a problem. What would happen if you got injured and couldn't play sports for the rest of the year? They'd probably pull my scholarship, so not only would I not be valedictorian, I wouldn't even be able to graduate, which would really shoot holes in my future. So if I get injured again and I find out it's this black cat person's fault, believe me, she's gonna wind up injured too. Would it be okay if you weren't the valedictorian? It'd be okay with the school, but it sure wouldn't be okay with me. No matter what I'm competing in, I always play to win. The nice thing is, I usually do. Any idea what happened to the book of post stories that's missing from the library? I sure don't have it. Mel, our resident goth girl, she probably does. That freak's probably working on a way to bring him back from the dead so he can autograph it. I'll let you go. Hit him hard.